the trial never ends. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Okay, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves now. It's just a teaser trailer after all. Greetings, Ekomomai and Nuhne, my fellow Star Trek fans. I am Captain Kanaka, the Trek historian, and I would like to have a conversation with you all about the Star Trek Picard Season 2 teaser trailer. Before we get started, if you have any areas for me to improve, please let me know. In this particular video, I'm experimenting with the voice mixture because I'm concerned that I come on a little harsh in my audio, so any feedback helps. Since I am an inner city high school teacher by trade, I started this channel as a way to teach students how to produce video essays to show their academic work instead of traditional written essays. So any ideas, any feedback you have helps the students directly. So mahalo nui loa, that's Hawaiian for deepest thanks for your support. With that in mind, let's talk about Star Trek Picard season two. So my friends, even though I'm a lifelong Star Trek fan, I do have a special affection for some aspects of new Star Trek. The J.J. Abrams era movies are relatively hit and miss. I enjoyed the first one. Because of its absolutely terrible derivative nature, Star Trek Into Darkness is probably one of, if not the worst, Star Trek movies out there. And Star Trek Beyond was a very serviceable recovery. As far as Star Trek Discovery is concerned, I don't hate it. I think it is at odds with itself in terms of what Star Trek is and what the show wants to be. But I felt the same way about Star Trek Deep Space Nine when it was on the air. And in the spirit of infinite diversity and infinite combinations, if you are a fan of Star Trek Discovery, I don't judge you. Welcome to the collective. Glad to have you aboard. The same thing applies to Star Trek Lower Decks, by the way. Unfortunately, my live and let live philosophy cannot apply to Star Trek Picard Season 1. Mostly because what that show does is take pre-existing characters and puts them in situations where they act opposite of how they've been established. Also, in the interest of full disclosure, the character of Jean-Luc Picard plays a very important role on my life as a person on the autistic spectrum i learned how to speak by mimicking patrick stewart's voice inflections on star trek the next generation and in the movies as jean-luc picard and anytime i'm in a situation as a teacher where i need to act i borrow picard's mannerisms i've made a video about this already if you're interested link is in the description below i can expand a lot more on this too if you're interested but Picard is a very special character, the most important character to me as a person on the autistic spectrum. My biggest criticism of Star Trek Picard Season 1 is its storytelling. Everything else about the show is spectacular. The effects, the production value, but the storytelling is so bad. And the end result of Season 1 is so terrible that it made me rage quit CBS All Access. Now, my friends, I am debating making a Star Trek Picard episode-by-episode episode review to demonstrate how you could improve the storytelling while still hitting all the goals the writers had. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested about that. Now, with all that in play, let's talk about Star Trek Picard Season 2 and its trailer. When CBS All Access gave me its extremely desperate email to come back and resubscribe, I told them that I would only subscribe if and only if they brought back Q to undo the results of Season 1. And it looks like they're doing that. So here are my predictions for Star Trek Picard Season 2. The arc of the show will be very similar to the plot of the TNG episode Tapestry, where Q takes Picard back in time to relive a moment of his life, a defining moment of his life. In so doing, he creates a new reality. And from that point on, Patrick Stewart will hang up his role as Picard and hand the character off to a younger actor, and Star Trek Picard will go on with that actor from that character's perspective, possibly in a new timeline. There's a lot of indications of this. There's also suggestions that we may even have a Captain Benjamin Sisko cameo. That would be good. It's got that going for it. So with that said, I am cautiously optimistic about the new show. But what do you think? What are your predictions for Star Trek Picard Season 2? 
let me know in the comments below. Folks, it's been a while. I'm happy to be back. Um, I have a few Lost Treks in the works. Let me know if you're interested in this Star Trek Prison Planet project that I found, which was a follow-up to Wrath of Khan. I'm debating either making a movie about it or sending it to what culture and having them use better technology to render the movie. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. With that in mind, live long and prosper. Emalama Pono, and see you in the next video. Hello again. Mahalo Nui Loa for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to learn more about this video's topic, I have left my sources in the description below. Feel free to check them out. And while you're down there, feel free to click the like button and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Finally, if you'd like to leave your thoughts in the comments below, maybe your Lost Trek pitches, ideas for new videos, or areas through which I can improve, um, I'm always looking forward to hearing your thoughts on that. And I'm looking forward to reading them. With that said, live long and prosper. Amalama Pono, and see you next time.